welcome to another inbox review. Could this be my first ever Hella kit? Maybe. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, this arrived in the post today. Um, Twenty pounds, including shipping, so not a bad uh, price, I don't think. Um, this is one of the new uh, Hella boxings, as far as I can tell. It actually says in here, look, made in Germany. Although obviously, then it's got a made in France sticker. Mm, slightly confusing. Although um, I believe Hella is now. Uh, owned by a German company, but uh, most of the products are still made uh, in France. Um, I don't recall ever having a Hella kit or ever building a Hella kit, even as a, as a kid. Um, I only ever really remember Airfix, Matchbox. Uh, maybe slightly later on in the game, I got um, some monogram. Um, as my sort of pocket money increased, as it were, I was able to afford the slightly bigger monogram type kits. Um, but I don't ever recall um, building or actually even owning a Hella kit, so this very well could be the, the first one. Um, I picked this one because I thought the scheme was really great, something nice and bright, something a bit different. Um, Mirage uh, F1B, 172nd, we've got 79 pieces, we've got the dimensions here, and two decorations provided, or schemes, as I think uh, that, that means. Um, bit of information around the around the side. Intended for collectors, age fourteen and over. Um, pictures not binding, etc. Usual bits and pieces on there. There are the two options. One is a kind of all over grey. Uh, the other one, obviously, is the one on the, the depicted by the box art. <clears throat> Uh, we have a reference number here of 30319 um, as I guess the kit number. And again, you've just got a, each side has got the same sort of thing. Got a picture of the actual um, aircraft on the front. <clears throat> so what we'll do, let's open it up. Oh, sorry, on the back here. Again, we've got a little bit of information on the actual aircraft. Um, this is a two seat version. Um, we've got a, obviously a, a diagram there of the um, decal schemes, and these are the different paints uh, in, <laughs> unsurprisingly, Revel and uh, uh, and Hella and Hella callouts. Uh, you can download the instructions as well. I've actually looked on their website, and uh, all the instructions for their kits seem to be downloadable, quite which is quite good. You've also got this QR code for a bit of more information on the product. Comes in a sealed box. This looks to be like a sort of top opening. Quite a sturdy box. Uh, oh, we've got some other, here you go, look, we've actually got some bits here on the side as well, which just need to be removed. And let's open this up, see what we get in the box. Instructions. Uh, a little booklet here. I guess this is probably about different kits that they produce. It's quite nice. And then we've got one bag uh, with all the plastic components. So what we'll quickly do is we'll have a quick look at the uh, instruction booklet first here. Um, I do like the, the, the sort of yellow, bright yellow book boxes and the, the whole um, Sort of design is really nice, these kits. Um, I think the instructions are going to be at least partially colour. We'll get those decals out of the way for a second. Um, bit of information again on the aircraft itself. Um, we've got colour callouts here. Um, I'm guessing they're probably all in Heller's own. Um, bits of information, etc. Um, we then as with most aircraft, we pretty much go straight into the cockpit. Obviously, there's two cockpit, uh, two tubs here for um, for the single and uh, for because this is a double um, double one, two seater, I should say. Um, but I'm guessing there's probably a one seater variant. So this is kind of a some ch the difference, different fuselage, I guess. Um, go through the fuselage engine, then we're basically putting everything together. Um, looks like this version does not have the refueling probe or it's a choice I guess depending on whether you want it or not cut it off we've got these nice little depictions in each bit of what color paints we're going to need I think these color paints actually match uh, Humbrol interestingly because if we look here 33 black is a Humbrol paint 11 I believe is, is, is silver 
um, so that's quite useful. Uh, it's not going to be a massively complicated kit, we've then got some little bits and bobs and then pretty much all the whole wings, horizontal stabilizers and various bits and pieces going on. You've then got the gear down here. Uh, we've then produced the seats later on and they pop in and then the canopy. Uh, and because this one I guess is a um, it's not a sort of it's more an anniversary uh, yeah the 65th anniversary scheme there's obviously no weapons it's cut on here you've got it tells you pack to fill in the holes on the islands there and then we come into nice really nice color paint schemes and decor um layout not a massive amount of stencils so that's good news <laughs> i mean there's quite a few on this variant um, but actually on the main, if you're going to go for the colourful work bird here, there's not uh, not a lot to do, so that's quite nice. And then again, a bit about their website and um, download, you can download the instructions electronically if you want to. Um, we might as well quickly look at these decals. They're covered with a protective layer. They look really nice, actually. The reds are not bad. Um, it says designed by F F S M C Productions. Don't know who they are. There is some sort of instrument dial here. Uh, in fact, there's one there as well. Uh, they don't look brilliant, but they might look okay. I mean, they're small. It's one seventy second. You're not necessarily going to see a lot there, but the general print quality. It's quite glossy. It looks quite nice. Um, yeah, I don't think they're cartograph, but they look pretty good. Right, then we're going to open up the packet here. Now, I don't believe, this certainly isn't the old Hella kit, because I believe Hella did produce this kit many moons ago. Um, this one, I believe, is actually a special hobbies rebox. So, it isn't really my first Hella kit, because it isn't actually a Hella as such. Um, so, there are already a lot of YouTube videos on this, probably on this um, mould. Um, I don't know if there's any actual identifying marks. I'm sure this is a special hobbies though. I've, I've read somewhere. Um, but it does look really nice. You've got some nice uh, recess panel lines, quite reasonable detail in the wheel bay. This is part of the cockpit tub again for the scale. Don't know how well you're going to pick that up. There's some quite good detail in there. Um, obviously there are, I guess there's different fuselage parts depending on whether you're getting the single seater or double seater. Um, this is one cockpit tub here, instrument panel, and again, really nice parts. It does have locating, lots of locating pins, so it should go together quite well. And the detail, even around the curb, curve, sorry, um, is good. It doesn't sort of lose definition. I mean, the recess panels again, you know, maybe for 170 seconds are a little heavy, but once it's painted uh, and weathered, I think it'll look really nice. Um, ah, in fact, it says here made by MPM Productions on there. CMK, yeah, so it, it is special, uh, special hobbies, isn't it? I believe. Um, lots of different instrument panels again, I guess, for different versions. Um, it's all crisp, it's all clean. I can't see any, oh, there is a little bit of flash here around the landing, the landing gear, but nothing, you know, nothing too bad. It wouldn't be easy enough to clean up. Different nose cones here, uh, I guess, we do, again, different versions. So that's, we've actually got three sprues. So far. this is our fourth sprue. This is where we've got, again, different tails different lumps and bumps I guess different sensors different versions we've got the injector seats which again for the scale don't look too bad these are sides that's got a bit oh yeah this is trouble with packing everything in one bag things do tend to get a bit bent and damaged if you're not careful that has got a little bent but I don't think it's going to be a problem um, and obviously do check your bag when you're opening it to make sure there's no loose parts in there but that all looks good. There's your tyres. There's no weight on wheels here. But that shouldn't be a problem. They are one piece. Quite nice. We then got the wings. 
fairly short stubby wings here. Again, you've got nice recessed detail, not too overdone by the looks of things. It's a nice plastic as well. That looks good. And obviously we get, we're getting all the weapons here. So this is obviously designed for our versions. So these aren't used on this particular version. Although interestingly, um, if I'm not mistaken, the box art depicts this large tank, centerline tank, which I don't recall the instructions mentioning at all. Um, but obviously you have to check some of your facts, do a bit of research. If it has one, then I'm sure there's one here to fit the bill. Um, again, these are nicely molded, clean, no flash on this part that I can see. But obviously the, most of these are not going to be needed, they'll be going in your spares box. Um, right, there we go. That's that's the Heller kit. Um, what can I say? Um, it looks really nice. It is, it's a nice boxing. Um, I think um, the packaging is great. It, the box comes in a fairly sturdy box. No complaints there. Um, and I think it looks like it'll build into a good kit. Oh, we've forgotten something here. The clear parts. Sorry, I nearly forgot those. Let's stick this bag open. They are nice and clear, that's for sure. I don't know how well you can pick that up. Hopefully quite well. Um, trying to work out, let's put them against the instructions and see. There's a bit of distortion there. Um, but on the whole, I think they're really nicely molded. They're clear, they're not too thick. Certainly um, some 170 second cat scale kits, you get ridiculously thick clear parts. These are pretty good. Yeah, nice. So yeah, all in all, I think a good package. Uh, and not a bad price. Um, be good to see Hella doing some stuff, and I shall look forward to actually building that. Hopefully, this, the next one I build buy will actually be a Hella mold. Thanks for watching.